All right, Aries. Um, this is the um, Taurus season. This is the second house. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. The second house has to do with uh, um, um, your financial stability. Um, and uh, let's see. We have the energy of the star in the reverse. Some secrets uh, um, has now come out. And I see you Aries are trying to balance it. So the first three weeks have to do with major issues, major situation. And um, these major issues and situation has to do with your work. For some of you, it's your work. The last week, work is in the position upright. But for the rest of uh, um, the weeks, uh, you are having a um, major issue. So this um, Taurus season is from April 28th until May 28th. And I want to say um, congratulations to you, Aries. You have been through um, your season. I hope it was good. Use the energies to move on in this year so that you can exhilarate uh, yourself. Now, you're looking at the second house. You looked at yourself last year, last month, last season, and now you're looking at yourself. So the energy of the star, um, a lot of you Aries had wish, had some hopes and wishes and dreams. Um, but um, it is not going to be coming out because of some sort of a, a instability that is going on around you. And what is transpiring is that information is going to be coming out. This energy of the star in the first week in the reverse is bringing out information, as you can see. So we have to now go and recognize what is this information, where is this information coming out, and what is this information, so that you can gather enough knowledge to move on. Okay, and it was a situation that some of you Aries wanted to reconciliate um, with someone um, and uh, have some sort of a new start. Now, um, this um, reconciliation is going to be taking place, so that is going to be good. Um, so, um, the question is that if all of you are going to be connected in that way because what we're recognizing is that the energy of the star is healing something something is being ill something that was out of balance is now being ill and this is going to be good because the energy of the star is bringing forth uh, and bringing um you closer to someone who um was a little bit uh, out of sight out of mind okay and this is going to be returning someone to you and uh, you and this person are going to be reconciliating and it's going to be creating some sort of a new changes in your world so this is good aries um the week of the 20 april 20th to the april 26th is going to be very good a lot of you this could be a lover or a child or it could be someone who you have a, a hope and art too. Um, this person is going to be reconciliated with you and I see you're going to be having some sort of a new start. A whole lot of you, a child um, that was missing is going to be returning in your life. Um, it's as if some of you have not spoken and see this child for a while. All of a sudden, um, this child is definitely, definitely is going to be returning in your life and this is going to be good. Some of you, um, an ex-lover could be returning. Whoever this person is, um, play a huge significance in your life. And I see that um, whoever this person is, uh, have touched your heart chakra in a very deep way. And uh, finally, you're going to be able to reconciliate with this person. So for some of you as a child, some of you as a family member, uh, some of you is someone who have uh, helped you on your ways, your journey, um, that you have been um, basically missing out on in your life. And I see um, that uh, um, this um, first week, April 20th to 26th, is going to be bringing back uh, 
and some sort of a happiness and joy and healing something that was uh, affecting you. Let's move on to the week of the 27th until May 3rd. April 27th until May 3rd. We have the energy of the moon. Now the energy of the moon, it is always about the intuition and it's always about secrets. Now, the energy of the moon is about illusion and it has to do with a scorpion and a Pisces. So some of you could have been dealing with a scorpion and a Pisces and there's a whole lot of illusion around this person and people are not really aware of uh, the illusionary situation that is happening around you and this person. And I see people are now going to be um, recognizing that. So the energy of the moon is about illusion. And some sort of an illusion that was there that was created um, around you. I see some sort of unexpected surprises um, is going to be coming out. Sometimes, uh, um, uh, you know, disturbing things happen. Um, and whatever this disturbing thing happened or whatever the illusion there was around a scorpion and a Pisces, uh, um, for some of you a scorpion, for some of you a Pisces, uh, um, it is going to bring some sort of a surprising happiness and this is going to be good. So um, um, the illusion is going to be over. So whatever illusion was being used or used to manipulate, a scorpion and a Pisces is going to be surprisingly over. Okay? And this is going to be like... Uh, unexpectedly it's as if these people recognize that they were trapped in some sort of an illusion so it's a situation where some of you could have created some sort of an illusion around a pisces and a scorpion and these people are now uh being awakened and and is re recognizing that they were controlled by um either negative flow or controlled by the ego of you Aries and is going to be waking up and is going to be recognizing the illusionary state of what has been happening and transpiring and how you Aries are connected to create this um, illusionary state, okay? So however this is coming up and however this is playing out and whatever that is transpiring, um, people are now going to be recognizing and being awake out of the state of illusion. Okay, so it could be you that was placed in a state of illusion by a scorpion or a Pisces. And now it's as if you are waking up out of this uh, illusions and is recognizing and seeing um, what has been happening and transpiring. So some sort of unexpected surprise and um, it's going to be coming up and it's going to be transparent and you're going to be recognizing that there was a lot of illusion. Illusion that is by you or a Pisces or a Scorpion. This is about secrecy and some sort of a secrecy is going to be coming to an end. So there was really um, secrecy that was, uh, um, that was happening and how a Pisces... Uh, and a scorpion is caught up in this secrecy. And I see um, that they are either going to be clearing themselves from this illusion and removing themselves from whatever illusionary state that was placed on them or on you. So it's vice versa. All right. We come to the energy of balance. And this energy of balance is used um, by um, the... And we're looking at a week, uh, the third week, uh, um, the 4th of May until the 10th of May. And this energy of balance is one of the most very important energy because it's about patient, patient. And this temperance energy in this third week have to do with having patient to deal with a Virgo and a Sagittarius. Okay, it is, a, it is about really having some sort of, of patience dealing with a Virgo and a Sagittarian because a Virgo and a Sagittarian has been creating a whole lot of issues and creating a whole lot of illusions around you. And it's as if they're going to be now recognizing 
who have been creating these problems and these issues. So a lot of you have to find in um, um, a lot of patience dealing um, with this Virgo and the Sagittarian because this Virgo and the Sagittarian seems to be um, affecting your world in a very, very unusual way, an unusual state, okay? Whoever this uh, Virgo and the Sagittarian is, uh, they are manipulating um, people and situation and you are being caught up in this. So, so um, the situation is just call in um, on the universal angels to remove this uh, um, Virgo and Sagittarian out of your life for good. So, you know, Aries, we can do this together. So, um, angel of the Aries and abundance, um, we're calling upon you to remove uh, the negative and the illusionary situation that has been going on and um, give us um, inner strength to deal with this Virgo and the Sagittarian because this Virgo and the Sagittarian is really um, desperate and there is really some horrible um, imbalance situation. And I see a judge is now looking at a situation what the Virgo and the Sagittarian have done. And I see you Aries are going to be successful over the situation, okay? So it is as if uh, Aries and a Sagittarian have created and brought you Aries in a lot of issues, a lot of problems. And now a judge is going to be investigating the situation and recognizing the truth of the situation and what was happening and transpiring. So this is going to be absolutely, absolutely um, the third week, the week of May 10th, May 10th until May, um, May 4th until May 10th, you guys are going to be very, very successfully overcoming some unconventional play of a Virgo and a Sagittarian because the judge is now getting to, um, the bottom of things and is recognizing, um, what this, um, the Sagittarian and this Virgo have done. And I see you are going to be having a huge, huge success because they're going to be recognizing that you Aries has nothing to do with it. You Aries were connected to these people because these people were trying to manipulate some sort of a situation and had you connected to some sort of a situation and it's going to be releasing you. So it's as if patient is called for because as you look at your energies, um, Aries, it is a beautiful, beautiful energies. It is reconciliating. Um, whatever the health issues, the health problems is, uh, it's about healing. If you had some sort of a family member that had some sort of a health issue and health problem and healing, then we have some sort of a unexpected uh, uh, solutions for a scorpion and the Pisces that some of you were dealing with. And then I see a judge is looking at some sort of a data and information and recognizing that a Virgo and a Sagittarian is the one that has created all of this mess. And I see the judge is going to be ruling in your favor. So, you know, success with whatever legal issue or whatever problems that you have. But this is a judge. This is a, a judge that is investigating something and is recognizing that a Sagittarian and a Virgo have created a huge, huge mess. And you Aries are going to be released out of uh, this mess because the judge is going to be recognizing that you got caught up into this mess uh, and they are going to be releasing you out of this mess because they recognize uh, that a Virgo and a Sagittarian is the one that created this mess. So I see huge success is here in the third week um, for um, you, um, Aries. So write this down the week of... Uh, um, the 10, the 4th of May until the 10th of May, I see you're going to be, um, successfully overcoming, um, whatever the issues, the problem is and was, uh, and you are going to be resolving the situation in a positive way. Now we're going to the fourth week. The fourth week is from May 11th until May 20th. And we have the energy of the Eight of Pentacles, Sun in Virgo, Sun 
in Virgo. So a lot of you, this is what I said, you're going to be successfully overcoming a Virgo. Whoever this Virgo is and whatever this Virgo I've created, I see some sort of a tower moment is going to be coming down on a Virgo business. Okay. So you Aries are going to be overcoming this Virgo and some sort of a huge tower moment is coming down on this Virgo business. Okay. So some sort of a business uh, um, that this Virgo have. Um, an end is coming to this Virgo business because, and there would be ending some sort of a contract. So if you Aries had some sort of a contract or was a Virgo, your boss, a tower moment is coming down for this Virgo because they recognize some sort of a, um, um, contract that this Virgo has created. They recognize that a Virgo has created some sort of a unconventional contract. So the sun in Virgo is that a lot of you, twice with the energy of the sun, um, being successful over a Virgo. A Virgo I might have to be paying a lot of you, um, Aries, a whole lot of money, whoever this Virgo is and whatever was transpiring. I see a tower moment is coming down for this Virgo um, at the workplace or um, this Virgo with business, or it could be a Virgo um, that an unexpected divorce is going to be happening. So I see um, some sort of a business uh, um, that some of you had with a Virgo, a huge tower moment is coming down for this Virgo because they're now recognizing that a Virgo had created some sort of a contract on the um, a false, uh, um, false height. So they're recognizing that a Virgo really created a contract on the false height and was um, accumulating wealth through his business. And the contract and the business contract that this Virgo have wasn't correct, okay? Um, for some of you, it can be that you're dealing with a Virgo at the workplace and whoever this Virgo is, is going to be ending some sort of a contract, work permit contract for you, Aries, because a Virgo recognize that you, Aries, have some sort of a work contract that is not um, based on the rules and regulations or um, it did not go through the main channel. They're going to be recognizing that this contract was created on the false height. And I see that this Virgo is going to be recognizing that the contract or the information is not for you, Aries. So a lot of you, Aries, could be um, really, um, if you are married to a Virgo, I see this marriage could be... Um, if you're married to a Virgo, I see this marriage could, out of the blue, um, a huge tower moment in your marriage between you and a Virgo. So there is a situation where if you are married to a Virgo, I see your marriage could be ending. So there's a lot that is going on. And especially in the week of May 11th until May 20th, Whoever is married to a Virgo, I see you're trying to work on this relationship um, with this Virgo, but I see unexpected changes for the worse, okay? And um, a, a, a work contract that you, um, a, a, um, your marriage is going to be falling apart unexpectedly, suddenly. Your marriage is going to be falling apart, but um, and that is just for people who are married to the Virgos. Okay, some of you who were in business with a Virgo, a, a huge double moment is going to be coming down, and this contract is going to be ended because they recognize um something about the contract that was not sealed and based on um reality. Um, this contract was um, created on the false act. And this is the reason why. So I see um, at the workplace, uh, some of you, a Virgo is going to be getting some of you fired. So be aware of this. Okay, so at the workplace, stay clear of a Virgo because the sun is in Virgo. I see a, a Virgo is going to get some of you fired. Okay, so you got to be aware of that. 
so ladies and gentlemen it is uh, an absolutely beauty um of what is happening in transpiring um a lot of you are going to be now recognizing um what was created in your world a lot of you are going to be understanding who a virgo is and what is happening so i do love you guys come back and check out the weeks um this is good the first week is uh april 20th until the 26th the second week is uh april 27th until may 3rd and the third week uh, is may 4th until the 10th and the last week is may um 11th until the 20th i do love you guys leave a message namaste it's a good good <laughs>